uh, my earliest recollection agriculturally of going to the fairs when I was, I suppose when I was eight or nine years of age even, uh, you had be a couple of number of cattle and you had to bring them up to the fair green, would be just in front of the Garda station today and up on that fair corner. Every location seemed to have its own kind of a belt. But the whole, it's a bit difficult to imbue it, the whole area from about the Bank of Ireland, with the old Bank of Ireland on the Mall, up to the railway bridge, the Iron Bridge that crosses that small street, and back again, mid street, would be all solidly packed with cattle. It's different difficult to credit it. Now, it depends on who bought the cattle, if they did buy them. You went off to the station to rail them. And that was great activity. Uh, the cattle bank was up the far end of the sea, of the present day passenger platform. You can see that the beginning of the cattle uh, the, the cattle bank, and it continues on out there, maybe 200 yards. And there'd be trains and cattle wagons, special wagons for cattle, paired along there, and they'd be there, wallop and bullocks and cattle, in and out and railing them. And uh, it was great sport, all right, as long as you could stick it out with a lot of some work. I know. And uh, you might have to go to school then the second half of the day. And uh, would look which jokers. The town will be busy for the fair, it would. Sorry? The town will be busy for the fair. Oh, the town will be busy, awfully busy for the day in that fair. And there'll be all types of people, visitors in. Uh, um, November's day, December's day, and January the 7th, I think. They were the three really big ones. There was a fair every month, and a market every Thursday. Not so big, but the fair was every month. Then the Hush Fair was some of the 2nd of November or something. That was a, that was a, a major event as well. And that held in the same location, yeah? That was held in the same location, yes. Um, the care park in that place where the, these things Around that, that was all Livingston's buildings at that time, so it was completely different. Where the Garda station is, was all big old mills or, or old workshops or something there at that time. And were they active or were they closed down? Uh, well, they were closed down in my time. I I heard. In my time, yes. But uh, I think they used to go about three th specials of, of cattle out of Westport on these fairs, special train loads of cattle. And uh, they. Um, there were sheep as well, wasn't there? Sheep were in the mail, were they? The sheep were in the well. I was never conscious, I was never involved with sheep myself, really. And uh, I think sheep were more or less sold. Yes, they were sheep were more or less on the mail. Yes. But the, the big difference then and now, it was all cash. Today, you get a, you sell cattle in the mat, you get your cheque in the post a week, a few days afterwards setting out all the weight of the animal and etc. But in those days people wouldn't take chicks. Uh, money was advised. If a, a, a farmer up in Mead, uh, there was various uh, men who came to Westport regularly. You had Winston's, the Bruton family. You had a uh, friend named Wilson and many more. They would go into their bank in those places and advise that the, the bank that they would require so much cash at Westport. And information had leaked out from the bank officials that not lot of money advised for this fair. Uh, so there'd be big expectations uh, uh, if there was going to be a boom in demand. Now, um, the farmers had all assembled on the miles outside the Bank of Ireland, or close the bank. Or the other one, the IB, Bank Muscle and Insel, the IB was known as then. And uh, the dealer would go in when the cattle had been railed, he, he, he would go into the bank, he'd come out with a big lump of money, 
and he would peel it off notes. There, and feed it, feed it in cash direct to the to the original seller of the cattle. And the farmer either went walked into the bank and relodged it, or went up the town and spent it. In which case, it went back again to the bank anyhow. <laughs> and it went off through the post, and was railed by C in the CIE wagon, and back up to Dublin again. And again, it was re-railed down to Kerry or up to Donegal or someplace. And that's the way the cattle trade uh, operated. Now, that was the reason why cattle maps got the go-ahead from the government and from the banks. It was part of a campaign to convert rural Ireland into a checkbook sort of economy rather than a cash only. Uh, there was too much of our currency uh, joyriding around the country, going from fair to fair, whereas it all was changed when a checkbook economy was introduced, method of doing business. Uh, that would mean that and transport, transport, and um, I mean there's no problem today getting four or five bullocks brought from Lewisburg into Westport or from Ackle up to Westport if we're in it. That's no problem today, just half an hour, no. Half an hour. But in those days it was on foot. Well there's only fun around town on a fair day. Fun? Yeah. Well they're all hard work. What was all hard work? Any characters around? Well they were all characters. There was they were all characters. Uh, the dealers especially and bargaining over the cattle and all this thing. Uh, there was there was one guy who came I forget the name of it, but he was from the north of Ireland. And he was a major entertainer when, when he'd be he'd be bargaining. Uh, then you had a number of the uh, all the local men. Uh, my favourite of course was, was was the man who actually owned the land we were sitting on at the moment. Patrick Fitzpatrick from Bridge Street. Uh, he was had land here beside us all his life, all my life, and uh, I knew him very well. You had Pat O'Malley in Bridge Street, you had uh, William McGrail and Tommy uh, down the bottom floor of Bridge Street. The butchers, was it? The butchers. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And uh, you had, you had uh, uh, Sam King. And a number of uncles of Sam Kings, who I knew as well. And then you had all farms up from Newport and all from Castle Bar, and, and you get to know them all in due course. But the, 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 the major dealers, they know, as I said, who took specials of cattle from Westport Station, uh, they would be the, the uh, down from Meath and Kildare and such places. And would many cattle leave the station? I know that as much as three special train loads they would have gone in one day. Would it be three to five hundred thousand? Well, you put ten to twelve cattle into the wagon. Well, I don't know now what it way. Yeah. Infield was really, a major place on to go to. You know, I like to hear them talking about Infield. Train, the train stopped there, yeah? Yeah, that, that seemed to be the destination. Well, the land up there is good, isn't it? Yeah, that was the destination. Yeah.